Have you ever felt overwhelmed by the burden of emotional attachment feeling trapped in a cycle that seems impossible to break? You're not alone. Many people experience the struggle of letting go, feeling powerless and stuck in their emotions. But here's the silver lining change is not only possible, but well within your reach inspired by the timeless wisdom of ancient Stoic philosophers like Marcus Aelius and Seneca this video will reveal 10 powerful Stoic rules to help you emotionally detach from. Someone wise detachment so transformative as Seneca wisely said he who is brave is free detachment doesn't mean becoming cold or indifferent. It means finding strength and clarity within yourself. In this video, we will explore profound stoic principles that guide you on a journey towards emotional freedom. By integrating these habits into your daily life, you will discover practical and healthy strategies to loosen the grip of emotional attachment, allowing you to reclaim your peace of mind and Focus on what truly matters. Imagine saying goodbye to the mental shackles that bind you and embracing a newfound sense of clarity and focus. The teachings of stoicism will empower you to navigate your emotions with resilience and wisdom. As Marcus Aurelius once said, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength by applying these teachings. You will learn to prioritize your inner peace over external circumstances. Are you ready to break free from the chains of emotional attachment and embrace the power of personal growth? If so, this video is for you. We will guide you through 10 stoic habits that will transform your approach to emotional detachment. Let's begin by asking ourselves what truly holds value in our lives. If not the peace within our minds, join us as we explore these rules, paving the way toward a liberated stoic mindset. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please hit the subscribe button and join our community for more insightful content. We'd love to hear your thoughts. So leave a comment below. If you're not sure what to say, just type emotional freedom starts. Now let's dive in and begin this journey of emotional liberation together. Music, music, rule number one, the power of detachment. Have you ever felt like your emotions are a puppet with someone else pulling the strings? Ever wondered how much control you've handed over to others simply because of your attachments? This is where the power of detachment comes into play. Detachment doesn't mean you stop caring. It means you start living a life where your peace and happiness aren't dictated by EXT external factors. Why is detachment so transformative? Consider the wisdom of Epicus who said we suffer not from the events in our lives, but from our judgment about them. Detachment is about reclaiming your power, understanding that while you cannot control external events, you can control your response. To them, think about it when we cling too tightly to people or situations. They begin to control us. It's like giving someone else the remote to your feelings, letting them flip through the channels that will their influence can dictate your happiness, your sadness, and in extreme cases can drive you to make irreversible decisions. Detachment is about reclaiming that remote and deciding for yourself which channels to watch. Imagine your emotions are like a kite. Every, every string attached to something or someone represents a potential direction your emotions can be pulled if you hold on to too many strings or one too tightly you're at the mercy of the wind stoicism teaches us to loosen our grip to understand that while we can't control the wind we can decide which strings to hold this approach doesn't make you cold or indifferent it makes you grounded and resilient let's get practice practical start by identifying what or who you're overly attached to next. Ask yourself, why are you seeking validation? Afraid of loneliness or something else? Understanding the root of 
Your attachment is the first step in loosening its grip. Now engage in activities that fill you with a sense of purpose and satisfaction by focusing on what you can control and letting go of what you can't. You begin to anchor yourself in your own strength and values. As you embrace detachment, you start to see the world differently. You recognize that your worth is not tied to external circumstances, but is intrinsic and unwavering. This realization empowers you to move forward with clarity and confidence free from the mental shackles of attachment. Remember, as Seneca said, he who is brave is free by practicing detachment. You are not withdrawing from life. But engaging with it more fully with a clear mind and a steady heart. Rule number two: Understanding attachment. Ever wondered why we cling so tightly to certain people or situations, even when it causes us pain? What drives this need to hold on, and how can we break free from it? Understanding attachment is a key step step in the journey. Toward emotional detachment and personal freedom, let's dive deep into this concept, drawing wisdom from the Stoic philosophers to guide us. Attachment, at its core, is rooted in our ego. The Stoic philosopher Epicurus once said, "Wealth consists not in having great possessions, but in having few wants." This wisdom highlights the essence of attachment: our desires and perceived needs. When we're attached to something. Or someone we often operate from a place of ego, seeking validation, security, or a sense of identity from external sources. Consider a newborn baby radiating joy and untouched by the complexities of ego. As we grow, our ego begins to take the driver's seat, cluttering our lives with attachments. These attachments. Whether to people, people, objects, or ideals, cloud our judgment and distract us from our true essence, which is love and self-contentment. Have you ever felt that your happiness hinges on another person's approval or presence? This is a clear sign of ego-driven attachment to begin. Untangling ourselves from these attachments, we must first recognize them for what they are products of our ego seeking security and validation. Ask yourself, why am I so attached to this person or outcome? What fear or desire is driving this attachment? Understanding the root of your attachment is the first step in loosening its grip. Now imagine living a life from a place of love. Rather than ego, what if you could trust in the abundance of the universe, believing that what's meant for you will find its way? This mindset shift is powerful. It's about recognizing your inherent worth and capabilities, independent of external factors. As you begin to view your desires and connections through this lens, you'll start to see the unnecessary weight they add to your life. Embracing the concept of abundance is crucial. When you let go of the fear of loss, the universe often rewards you with more than than what you let go of. Detachment doesn't mean you care less. It means you understand better. It means. Staying true to your essence and letting love guide you, rather than fear, the journey towards detachment is transformative. It's about shedding layers of ego to uncover the resilient, love-filled soul beneath. It's about moving forward with lightness, free from the burdens of attachment, and ready to welcome new blessings with open, open arms and a steadfast heart. By prioritizing your inner peace over external validation, you pave the way for a life of true emotional freedom and fulfillment. Rule number three: the illusion of control. Have you ever felt that your happiness depended on someone else's actions or validation? Do you sometimes believe that if you just try hard enough, you can control the outcomes of your relationships and emotions? This is a common misconception that many of us face. The illusion of control, understanding and dismantling this illusion, is crucial for emotional detachment and personal freedom. Our ego. Often tricks us into thinking that we can control external events and 
Other people's reactions this illusion leads us to place undue importance on how others perceive us which which can result in emotional clinginess and dependence as Epicus a Stoic philosopher wisely said, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters this saying highlights a fundamental Stoic principle. While we cannot control external events, we can control our responses to them when we cling to the illusion of control we may find ourselves idolizing individuals and placing them on pedestals believing that our worth is tied to their approval. This mindset creates a distorted perception of reality where we see others as possessing something unattainable yet when we strip away these illusions, we realize that everyone is equally human, equally vulnerable. No one holds a special ticket that makes them inherently superior or more worthy to dismantle this illusion. Start by acknowledging that much of what we believe we can control is in fact beyond our influence. This Realization can be both humbling and liberating accepting that we cannot control others actions or feelings allows us to focus on what we can control our own thoughts reactions and personal growth by shifting our focus inward we build self confidence and resilience for instance instead of seeking validation from others practice self affirmation remind yourself regularly of your unique strengths and qualities understand that your value does not depend on someone else's perception this practice aligns with another stoic teaching from marcus aurelius you have power over your mind not outside events realize this and you will find strength in embracing the abundance mindset is another effective strategy recognize that the universe is vast and there is plenty of love, success and happiness to go around when you stop fearing the loss of one particular person or outcome. You open yourself to a world of new possibilities and opportunities in relationships. This understanding allows you to love freely without desperate attachment. It empowers you to appreciate connections while maintaining your sense of self-worth and independence. Remember, enforcing emotional detachment is not about becoming indifferent. It's about recognizing that your completeness does not rely on anyone else's presence. By internalizing these stoic principles, you cultivate a profound emotional strength that prepares you to face life's uncertainties with grace, shed the illusion of control and embrace the liberating truth that true power lies within your own mind. Rule number four, detachment and practice. Have you ever found yourself clinging to past experiences or relationships, unable to let go and wondering what might happen? If you did, it's a common scenario holding on to something so tightly that it hurts yet feeling too afraid to release it. But what if letting go could lead to something even better? Let's explore how to put detachment into practice. Drawing on the wisdom of Stoic philosophy as Epicus wisely said wealth consists not in having great possessions, but in having few wants, this principle applies perfectly to emotional attachment. Are you ready to release the grip of the past and make room for new possibilities? Imagine you're holding on to a rope so tightly that your hands start to ache. You're scared to let go because you don't know what will happen. If you do, the truth is letting go doesn't mean you'll fall. Sometimes it means you can finally stretch your hands and reach out for something. Even better, I had to learn this the hard way when I clung on to a comfortable relationship because it felt safe, not realizing I was shutting doors to potential happiness, happiness that was knocking on my door. How many times have you done the same afraid to let go of what you know for fear of the unknown? Here's another truth bomb. The fear of missing out or FOMO is a trap. It's like watching everyone else's highlight reel on social media while you think you're missing out on life, but remember, social media is a curated filtered snapshot meant to showcase perfect moments. Once I stopped scrolling through everyone else's stories and started living my own FOMO lost its grip on me. 
Do you find yourself constantly comparing your life to others? It's time to break free from that cycle. Not knowing every detail of someone else's life doesn't mean you're missing out. It means you're fully present in your own life, making memorable moments that belong to you and you alone attachment to a false image of happiness can make letting go seem impossible. You see others living their best life and fear that you're falling behind, but remember the grass only looks greener from a distance up close you'll see it has its share of brown patches too, creating an illusion of perfection in someone else's life steals joy from your own, it's like running on a treadmill, I'm trying to catch up to a hologram, no matter how fast you go you'll never reach it because it's not real detachment isn't about giving up. Happiness, it's about defining it on your own terms, so to emotionally detach, follow the stoic principle of focusing on what's within your control, your thoughts, your actions, your growth. It's empowering to realize that no one's opinion, no past relationship, not even a shiny, filtered life on social media has the power to define your worth or your happiness, this realization is your armor, allowing you to move forward unburdened by unnecessary attachments, free to experience life in all its unpredictable glory and open to the genuine, fulfilling connections that are waiting just around the corner. Remember, letting go isn't an end, it's a bold step toward the life you truly deserve. Rule number five, the path to happiness. Have you ever wondered why true happiness often seems just out of reach, tethered to the whims of others or external circumstances, what if the key to lasting happiness lies within you independent of anyone else's influence in this segment? We'll explore the stoic path to happiness and how emotional detachment can lead to a deeper, more resilient joy where does true value come from? It's a question that when answered can pivot us away from unnecessary attachments and towards a state of emotional freedom, as Epictetus wisely said, wealth consists not in having great possessions, but in having few wants. This profound insight directs us to look inward rather than then outward for our sense of worth and happiness. Understanding this concept is particularly crucial when the challenge is to detach from someone. It's not about severing ties with malice or indifference, but about recognizing that the most profound form of companionship you'll ever possess is the one you have with yourself. True value, as it turns out, stems from within your character, your wisdom, how you treat others. How often do we mistakenly believe that our happiness is locked in someone else's presence in our lives, that our worth climbs with their approval or dips with their neglect? This mindset chains us, reducing our vast potential to the whims of another. Imagine a bird believing it needs permission to fly. We limit our emotional skies. Imagine instead realizing that the sky has always, always been open waiting for you to spread your wings on your own terms. This self-reliance is liberating, teaching us that our value does not fluctuate with others' opinions or presence. Detachment, therefore, isn't. An act of pushing someone away, but drawing ourselves closer to our essence by focusing on personal growth and becoming the best versions of ourselves, we unshackle from the heavy weight of neediness. It's akin to nurturing a garden. You wouldn't plead for a single flower to grow. You tend to the soil, water the plants, and trust in the natural process in focusing on self-improvement we cultivate a garden that blooms regardless of who chooses to walk through it or admire its beauty. This nurturing becomes a source of happiness that's independent, resilient, and profoundly rewarding. How do we tread this path of emotional detachment? It starts with the understanding that you are complete with 
or without someone's affirmation your journey is about discovering the expanses of your own sky learning to love the freedom that comes from flying solo when necessary embrace stoicism's wisdom focus on what's within your control your thoughts your actions your growth this doesn't mean closing your heart or turning a blind eye to love and connection, it means securing your emotional anchor in the steady ground of your being. Remember your self-worth isn't a puzzle missing someone else's piece, it's a masterpiece in progress complete, as is yet open to adding more beauty from the world around it. Rule number six, embrace the present moment. Are you often caught up in memories of the past or worries about the future embracing the present? Moment is a powerful way to emotionally detach and find peace. Within yourself, this practice rooted deeply in Stoic philosophy encourages us to live fully in the now, appreciating the current moment, rather than being consumed by what has been or what might be Marcus Elias, a renowned Stoic philosopher, wisely said, Confine yourself to the present. This statement highlights the essence of Stoic wisdom, the importance of focusing on the present moment. When you dwell on the past, you might find yourself reliving painful experiences or clinging to what no longer exists. Similarly, when you worry about the future, you often create unnecessary anxiety over events that have not yet happened and may never occur both of these habits can prevent you from experiencing the richness of the present practicing mindfulness is an effective way to embrace the present moment mindfulness involves paying close attention to your current experience without judgment it means fully engaging in whatever you're doing whether it's eating a meal taking a walk or having a Conversation notice the details, the taste of the food, the feel of the ground, under your feet, the tone of the other person's voice. By immersing yourself in these experiences, you ground yourself in the present, which can alleviate feelings of attachment to the past or future. Engaging in mindful activities can significantly enhance your ability to stay present. Meditation, for example, trains your mind to focus on the here and now. Even simp breathing exercises can bring your attention back to the present moment. Try to dedicate a few minutes each day to these practices. Over time, you'll find that you're less distracted by past regrets or future anxieties. Living in the present also means appreciating what you have right now. Cultivate gratitude for the small moments and simple pleasures in your life. This shift and focus from what is lacking to what is as abundant can transform your perspective, making it easier to let go of attachments that weigh you down by embracing the present moment you. Build a foundation of emotional stability and clarity. This practice helps you navigate life's challenges with a calm and focused mind, allowing you to experience life more fully and joyfully. Rule number seven, reframe your thoughts. Reframing your thoughts is a powerful tool tool for emotional detachment. It involves changing the way you perceive and interpret situations, helping you break free from negative thought patterns and emotional dependencies as the stoic philosopher marcus aurelius once advised the soul becomes dyed with the color of its thoughts by changing your thoughts you change your emotional state and overall perspective on life start by identifying the negative thoughts that keep you at attach these might include beliefs like i can't live without this person i'll never find someone else or my happiness depends on them such thoughts create a sense of dependency and helplessness recognizing these patterns is the first step towards changing them next challenge these Thoughts by questioning their validity ask yourself, is this thought absolutely true? What evidence do I have to support this belief? Often you'll find that these thoughts are exaggerated or unfounded. This realization can weaken their grip on your emotions. Once you've identified and challenged your negative thoughts, replace them with positive or neutral ones. Instead of I can't live without this person, try I am capable of finding happiness and 
Fulfillment on my own replace, I'll never find someone. Elsewith, there are many opportunities for love and connection in my future. These new thoughts should reflect a more balanced and empowering perspective to reinforce these new thought patterns. Practice daily affirmations. Write down positive statements about yourself and your ability to thrive independently and read them aloud each day over time. These affirmations can help rewire your brain to adopt a more positive outlook, additionally mindfulness. Techniques such as meditation can support your efforts to reframe your thoughts. Mindfulness helps you become aware of your thought patterns without judgment, allowing you to observe and change them more effectively reframing your thoughts is not a one-time effort but an ongoing practice by consistently challenging and changing your negative beliefs you build emotional resilience and gain greater control over your reactions this shift in mindset fosters a sense of inner strength and detachment empowering you to move forward with confidence and clarity rule number eight, set healthy boundaries. Do you struggle to say no or set limits with others? Setting healthy boundaries is crucial for emotional detachment. Boundaries protect your well-being and give you control over your emotional space. Identify what behaviors are acceptable and what aren't and communicate these clearly to others. By respecting your own limits, you reinforce your self-worth and reduce dependency on others for validation or happiness when you set boundaries you define. The line between where you end and another person begins this practice helps prevent emotional entanglement and promotes a sense of autonomy. For instance, if someone's behavior is causing you stress calmly but firmly express your need for space, or a change in interaction this isn't about pushing people away but about protecting your mental and emotional health as you establish these limits remember that boundaries are a form of self-respect respect they signal to others that you value yourself and your needs over time consistent boundary setting helps you cultivate healthier relationships based on mutual respect and understanding it's a proactive step toward emotional independence ensuring that your peace of mind isn't contingent on the actions or approval of others by setting and maintaining healthy boundaries you create a safe emotional environment where you can thrive this empowers you to focus on your own growth and well-being fostering a stronger sense of self and enhancing your overall quality of life rule number nine engage in self-care when was the last time you did something just for yourself engaging in self care is essential for emotional detachment and building a resilient independent life seneca believed in the importance of personal well-being highlighting that a sound mind in a sound body is a short but full description of a happy state in this world self-care means prioritizing activities that nurture your body mind and spirit physical exercise for instance not only improves your health but also releases endorphins that elevate your mood meditation and mindful practices help center your thoughts and reduce stress Promoting mental clarity and emotional stability hobbies and passions play a crucial role in self-care, whether it's painting, reading, gardening, or playing an instrument. These activities provide joy and fulfillment, making you less reliant on others for happiness. Additionally, spending quality time with loved ones who support and uplift you reinforces your sense of community and belonging self-care is about. Creating a balanced lifestyle that supports your well-being by taking care of yourself, you build a strong foundation that allows you to face life's challenges with confidence. It enables you to detach emotionally from others, not out of coldness, but from a place of inner strength and self-assuredness. Prioritizing self-care is a vital step in nurturing a fulfilling independent life rule number 10 practice gratitude have you ever noticed how focusing on what you lack can make you feel more attached to what you don't have practicing gratitude can significantly 
Shift your perspective helping you to emotionally detach from someone by actively acknowledging and appreciating the positive aspects of your life. You create a mindset of abundance rather than scarcity gratitude helps you recognize the value in what you already possess which diminishes the perceived need for what you think you're missing for example each day write down three things you are grateful for these can be as simple as a sunny day a supportive friend or a good meal this practice redirects your focus from what's absent to what's present and fulfilling in your life The philosopher Epicurus noted, Do not spoil what you have by desiring what you have not. Remember that what you now have was once among the things you only hoped for. This wisdom reminds us to cherish our current blessings instead of fixating on what we lack. Gratitude enhances your emotional well-being and builds a buffer against the pain of. Detachment as you cultivate a habit of gratitude, you'll find it easier. To let go of attachments that no longer serve you, paving the way for a more peaceful and contented life.